Hi, I'm Spencer from Spencer Marks, and since 2020 is the 100th anniversary of Prohibition, I thought I would talk about this wonderful Gorham Art Deco cocktail shaker. It was made in 1928, and this aerodynamic design resembles a dirigible. These scored lines are hand chased, accentuating that design. The lid comes off like so. You put your ice and other ingredients in there. And the lid of the spout unscrews and you pour it out through the integrated strainer so that the ice stays inside. Dirigibles at the time were very popular. Until the Hindenburg disaster in 1937, they were looked at as the preferred form of air flight. Planes were small, they were cramped, crowded, noisy, and perceived as dangerous. Dirigibles were large, luxurious, it was like going on an ocean liner. So when this was made in 1928, it was a forward-looking design and it was an optimistic design. It's also interesting that 1928 was the height of prohibition. It was illegal to make, buy, or sell alcohol, but people were doing it and they were doing it in large quantities. Cocktails became increasingly popular, and that is in part because it became increasingly socially acceptable for women to drink cocktails, and also because the bootleg alcohol that was being made at the time tasted terrible and they had to cover it up. So even though it was illegal, people were doing it almost in the open. And I have this uh, vision of Edward Mayo, who was the president of Gorham when this was made, saying, we make art, which clearly they were very good at. And then going on to say, but what people do with their art is their own business. And then pouring himself a good stiff one out of something very similar to this. So, uh, Prohibition, uh, thank you very much for a piece of uh, wonderful and highly usable art. Thank you.